Here we are again with Daughters of Ash, everybody. I'm uh, gonna be continuing on in the not Ulusil Township, uh, whatever this place is called. Yeah, listen, I'm gonna be honest with you, I did exactly what I said I would do in the last episode. I did look up where to get the key for Hawkeye Goff. It's a little bit further on than I thought. Um, I had the right idea. But yeah, just gotta stay cool, you know. It's it's coming up soon, and we'll be able to get that sweet plus fifteen weapon, which is really that's kind of the main thing. I've been wanting that shit for a long time now. Okay, you're getting backstab fishing. Listen, sometimes you gotta go for the PvP tactics, you know. Fuck. Apparently I'm dodging like shit. Oh, I don't have this plus. God damn it. I don't have the bonfire boosted up. Whatever, fuck it. Uh, it doesn't matter. I think... Maybe I don't. This bitch laughs at me too. I was gonna say I have, I have enough confidence in myself that I can make it through this, but... I'm not sure about that. Man, this game is way more difficult than fucking Dark Souls 3 that I'm streaming right now. That game compared to this one is an absolute cakewalk. Like, literally, I'm just like massacring myself. Sometimes I wish I had face cam on these episodes as well. Because uh, if you could see my face now... Well, you can imagine, um, I look like that man, that meme, I swear, I've been laughing at that meme, you know, like those, the eye, the mouth emoji and the eye, you know which one I'm talking about, you know, like the googly eyes between the red mouth, man, somebody showed me the original video of the girl, uh, where she just goes, you know, I think she says like, some of y'all need to hear this. Oh man, I've been laughing at that for like two days straight. <laughs> That's so good. Okay, this is something that I'm not laughing at. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that, oh man, that meme. And my face, after the death, looked like that face, that emoji. Yeah. Anyways, I'll actually make it through here this time around. One by one by one. Oh, I hate that attack. That attack is bullshit. It has so many active frames. Throwing out the fighting game terminology once again. Not the first time I've done that. But hey. Damn fighting games though, you know. Still playing more on combat 11 quite a bit. God, I hate these enemies. Um, anyways, oh shit. Did you see? Wait, did it just. Okay, you fall to your death. I swear that she just curved around the building. I swear it did. This is like the opposite of The Last of Us 2. It's accessibility mode where the fucking bullets like curve away from you. Like you're that uh, chick from Metal Gear Solid 2. What's she called? Fortune or whatever. Yeah. You can turn on the accessibility modes of Last of Us 2 and make yourself be that character. Which is kind of crazy. 
it's cool, you know, that that game. I don't know what I'm talking about. Last of Us 2 has like these crazy accessibility features. Um, you could be like blind as a bat and still play that game, which is cool. But some of those features are also pretty funny. Gotta admit. I was watching Avoiding the Puddle play it. And he fucking turned on that. There's a feature where you become invisible if you're prone. Which is the funniest shit. You literally be getting shot at. You go prone and it's like, whoa, okay, can't see you. And... Uh, where, where the fuck is my pyro glove? Hold up. Hold up. Give me this. Sh no! No! Oh, I pressed it one. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I'm such an idiot. I'm the biggest moron ever. I was, I was exiting out of the menu. And I fucking accidentally pressed it one more time than I should have. Man, I'm a moron. I swear. And that was not intentional comedy either. Uh, that was accidental comedy. And I wish it wasn't. And these scripts I've been given lately are real shitty. If I'm going to be honest with you. This is not going to be possible. I just realized why this is not going to be possible. Because there's one here. Oh, fuck that damage. This is a stupid idea. One of them died. Come on, just die. Listen. I can hear them. This is playing a risky game. This is playing with fire, but sometimes you gotta do this. I really need to upgrade my Estus too. Because that shit ain't doing nothing. I cannot believe I died like that. So anyways, how about we don't die like that anymore? That would be pretty helpful for this run going forward. I'm a fucking sniper, bitch. And I really thought this thing was gonna kill me. Oh, f fuck the tracking. See, it, it probably did curve around the building, that piece of shit, didn't it? I swear they didn't have this much sight range, did they? Maybe they did. Now these things always had pretty high sight range. Okay, this is weird where we gotta be. See, I, t I knew this was going to happen. Didn't I say uh, when we entered the DLC that I feel like they're not going to fuck with the enemy layout too much? Because I feel like the enemy layout here is already increased the maximum fuckery. Uh, so it's like, why bother changing it? I can imagine them some doing something here. Which is why I got my bow and arrow. A moron can't hit it. There we go. That Hawkeye ring though. Pretty good investment, you know. This weapon has been a pretty good investment too. Man, I should use bows more in these games. Like, anything's way better. The fact that you can like slowly one by one draw out these enemies. Mega helpful. So just, oh, I knew it. Fuck. I knew there was going to be something. I knew it. If that hit me through...
Okay, so I think what I'm gonna... Oh, I'm out of Estus. I think what I'm gonna have to do is... We'll have to make a run for it. Where did, where did it go? There you are. Shithead. Okay, I got a humanity out of it. Free one, too. I see you. That was a camera... <laughs> camera angle coming through. With the helpful hints. Any more of these assholes ch chasing me? Can't even speak. Oh shit, I didn't start a timer. Did I? Not Well, I don't start a timer, but you know, I, I look at the clock. Gonna have to go by feels on this one. And apparently... From what I've heard, this is where the key should be. Oh, I, this is why I didn't have my pyromancy thingy on. I'm really scared now. Because I f was feeling like something like that was going to happen. That was like the least bad option out of all the things that could have happened. Me falling down that little dinky asshole is not the worst but still and I never go here either <coughs> I know that this thing is here the secret door but I never go here probably because there is nothing useful here in the vanilla game fuck I <sighs> I really am a moron aren't I that thing like has a gravity well or something attached to it because I swear it like sucks you in. Okay, that's the last time I've... Man, I'm really embarrassing myself in this episode, aren't I? Not as bad as when I died to Moonlight, but... It's up there. It's up there with my usual fuckery. Okay, don't fall through the hole. Just come along here. Balance yours. Oh, they made this a mimic. Crest key. This is what I've been fighting for. What I'm gonna do is. We'll also do the jump. Even though I'm like super, super low on health. And I'm more. Like, I care more about that humanity than I do about my souls. Like, fuck these souls. Doesn't even matter. About the humanity. I swear it feels like I'm playing NASCAR, you know, it's going around in a fucking circle. Fire surge. Man, talk about worthless spells. Fire surge is like prime worthless spell material. Just doesn't do shit. There's a twinkling lizard or <laughs> twinkling lizard. Uh, what is it called? Crystal lizard somewhere. It's pretty good as well. Twinkling lizard. Hey, from if you need any ideas on naming things, hit up the boy on Twitter. Actually, don't hit up the boy on Twitter because I don't use Twitter. I used to have a Twitter. But, I mean, like, I still have it. Just so I don't do anything with it. Some people are, like, hella... Hella into Twitter. I just don't. It's like... You hear my bullshit thoughts on these videos and streams all day, and, like, you don't want to read them as well, probably. Right? I don't know, it's like weird, like Twitter has always been a platform that like a shit ton of people use but nobody I know has Twitter. I don't know if you guys are the same way as well, like like I literally cannot name a single person in like my friend group slash family slash extended friends, whatever who actually has a Twitter account 
Oh, but this is this a, is this a good idea though? Shouldn't I save this for like a potential next bonfire? There might even not be a potential next bonfire. They might just like skip the abyss bonfire, you know, and not just do anything with it. So anyways, this is this is what I've been working towards. Hell yeah. All right, giant Yoda. There's one thing I want from you. And that's it. And that's it. Oh, he already says that. Doesn't he only say that? I'm gonna use this shit. 4,000? What a ripoff. What a ripoff. Luckily, I have a shit ton of these. You just gotta be careful with them because they're gonna like fucking shoot out this fireball or something and it's gonna kill Goff. I'm gonna be pissed if that happens. I'm assuming he would drop the ember, like. But then again, this game is a motherfucker, so I don't know. God, this is so stupid. Can I just... The fact that souls do these effects... That's pretty dumb. I mean, I get what they were going for with this. The idea is that you don't just like uh, stand in Firelink and spam the items until you use them all. That they would have some purpose, but nah, nah, fam. It just doesn't work like that. I'm so happy right now because this means we got our plus 15. And that's really what I've been shooting towards, you know. <clears throat> yeah, let's go back. I'm hoping you can, now that I have the flame or whatever, that I can warp here pretty easily. That would be real nice. Sirgor led a group of Gwendolyn's blaze to Newland. What? Man, I'm so happy that I don't read the lore. Um, I didn't say this uh, when I was initially playing, but I went through some of the lore items, or like, like I, I read quite a bit of these um, after one of the episodes when I was recording, and I quickly realized that the lore that they added to this game in this mod is super shitty. The again, I like the gameplay changes. I like the progression changes, but man, the lore is horrible. Like, it feels like mega fan fiction-y, you know? It's like the only... What does this do? Fuck the soul of Pinwheel. Unbelievable. Like, you can't trust... Can't trust anything in this game. I'm just using these because I need to upgrade. Like I need shit to upgrade my weapons. I know I should probably, you know. Like put them in my inventory and just spam them, but whatever. Oh! I didn't know I had another one. Which one is that though? Balder, Raw. Oh, is is that the blessed one? Okay, cool. Swag sword plus eleven. That's what the boy wants. Where is that swag? I got all of this, right? Too. Yeah, I do. 
Thank you. I'm, like, I'm surprised achievements work in this. I mean, although why wouldn't they, really? I feel so much better all of a sudden. Having a plus 15 weapon. My confidence level has just shot up. Please tell me I can... Royal Hippodrome. I know that's a real word, uh, but hip. Get them Dark Souls 2 ogres to come over. The hippo drone. Kindle this bitch. And this is like the most basic character I, I've had in a long time. Like fucking. What is it called? Soldier armor or whatever this thing is called. Leather armor. Fucking bow, pyromancy, mask of the mother. Uh, this is the most basic build like ever created. Okay, this better be like it do. I was just about to say that this better do a hell of damage. And when I don't miss with it, I don't miss with it. It does do a hell of damage. Nice. I'm liking this a lot now. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, and Grass Crash Shield. Yeah. I am using the most basic build ever. Listen. The reason people shit on builds like these is because they are mega effective. And I'm not one to... Oh, fuck. I am not one to shy away from being effective. We're gonna pull some shit. Oh, yeah. I got Hawkeye's ring, motherfucker. Get on my level, bitch. I'm glad that they changed this if they don't pull some trick because this section was a real dick of a section, honestly. Yeah, it looks like they did change it. I'm actually very ha happy about this because this was one of the shittiest uh, little rooms. It's not a room, but it was one of the shittiest rooms in the entire game. Uh, definitely in the DLC. It's like you getting distance blasted by the super powerful magic, magic attacks. I got pretty good pyromancy too. Nice. See, I was just about to say, uh, I was literally just about to say that man, we need to upgrade our uh, S's soon. So is this a good idea to fight this thing? I'm not exactly sure. This ain't exactly a difficult enemy. Not with a plus 15. Not with spin to win. I mean, he has spin to win. Chain stuff. Of course, it's, of course that's a mimic. Of course it is. Uh, yeah. The chain armor is probably one of the worst looking armors in the game. Um, especially the helmet. Let's take a look. Oh, but what did I get? I got the leggings. Meh. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you have stockings on. Volte, excuse. The what? Well, I know it's, a, it's an Iaito, but what? Voltaic. What the fuck is that? Oh, yeah, okay. That's their pretentious uh, way of saying lightning. Lightning. 
but yeah, I was gonna say like the lore rewrites in this game are super fan fictiony. The issue is that once again, uh, they miss the point. You know, the point of Souls lore is that it's subtle. You know that it doesn't have like very big grand fantasy elements you know it has some but not a lot <clears throat> and then they shit on all of that by like really like over fluffing the lore you know and everything is like really elaborately named and super fleshed out and these knights and sylvain and <laughs> it just doesn't work you know Plus, it misses the point of not allowing or leaving anything up to interpretation or your imagination. Which again... Figuring stuff out on your own and getting blasted from like a hundred feet away from magic is classic souls, you know. See, I was thinking I should have ran up and killed that sorcerer. That's what I should have done. Man, these guys deal a lot of damage. What the? Oh. Oh, that's just the roof. I was like, what the fuck is that? I thought they added something new. See, I know what's here. Oh, fuck. Did they add more? I swear there weren't that many of these enemies. Oh, shit. Four of these bitches. And the sorcerer. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Because I know what that is. What that item is. Uh, in the vanilla game. So I'm like, extra... Curious about checking it out. God damn you, yawning. <sighs> Fuck you. God, the damage is unbelievable. These boys fast as fuck too. Cool. Nice. Expert. Just leave it to me. This better be something useful. Like, make you jump through, through hoops to get it. It's still dark beat. Damn. It's not what I was expecting. Um, it's kind of the exact opposite of what I wanted because Dark Beat is a little bit useless for me. These boys are still around. What the hell? Was that a gold colored crystal? Was that just stoned? It must have been. Is the cat here? That's the big question. It looked like she wasn't. The other big question would be, do these things still drop humanities very frequently? Because if they do... If they do, I might just spend some time here. Uh... Because as you probably know, I'm very much lacking in humanities. There's no, there's no Sif here. It's just an item. Okay. See, the thing is, like, we haven't even seen Sif in this playthrough. And if I don't have to kill Sif, I'm okay with that. I'd prefer not killing. Oh shit. 
You know, I always prefer not killing Sif, if possible. Because again, I know about the alternative route through the DLC. There's apparently some other way to get to this place. I don't know what it is. Oh, fucking hell, that's a fast elevator. Holy shit. <laughs> Man. Oh, what up? Hmm. Okay, what do you sell? It restores health temporarily. Cures bone rust and restores healing efficacy. Yeah, that's never been a thing. Oh, you sell standard arrows. I might just get a couple of those. You might just get a couple of these. This is the one that's like good at a distance, right? Ah, do we need it? Don't we don't really do we? Let's get 95. Square 400. It's what I need. Uh, okay, okay. I know where I am. There's an item there. Why would it be anything cool? Right? Uh, I'm just thinking, listen, legit, I didn't start a timer, so I have no idea how long I've been going. Wait, this is the wrong one. This is not the one I want. So what I think I'm gonna do is we'll take this fucking fast ass. Holy shit. <laughs> that would make your stomach drop. That's like one of those fucking tower drop roller coasters that I like really can't stand. I'm okay with roller coasters like the normal ones, but uh, you know the dangling your feet tower drop ones. Fuck those. Uh, it's because I'm scared of heights normally, but the regular roller coasters I don't know why they just just works different. You know I guess. Uh, but those motherfucking tower drops I have never gone on those things, ever. I'll clear, I'll clear this section out because I'm curious if any of them are going to drop humanities. I can do this pretty easily because I deal a lot of damage. Which I'm very happy about. Did I mention that? I think I mentioned that. It's so weird when they do damage to you when they don't. Sometimes I feel like I'm like really touching them, really fondling these humanities, and it's just there's nothing on the other end. Not a single humanity dropped. Great. So I'm assuming this is going to be like a standard Manus fight, which I feel much better equipped. I see you there, bitch. Ain't gonna trick me. I feel a lot better equipped for this, honestly. I thought that was a... Well, yeah. Who knows what will happen. That was a lot of damage. God, seriously? A fucking invulnerable humanity. I'm assuming you can still shoot... Right? We have to like... You have to like free aim him, don't you? It's possible. It's possible to do it. You gotta have the patience of a saint. And you know... Manus is difficult. But not that difficult that it would be worth going through the pain of um doing that <laughs> yeah no way i'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here 
legit this might be a really long episode or it might be a really short one but i think this is a good time to stop uh what i'll do is i'll pick it up from here the next time see now i'm thinking that it might actually be shorter to take the artorias bonfire to come down here if i need to fight manus i think it might actually be Whatever, I'll check it out next time. For now, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Um, yeah, peace out. See you.